a molecular magnet is something that's the size of a molecule. So it is mesoscopic in size, not as small as an electron. It's made up of lots of atoms and lots of electrons, but it has a, a, a magnetic moment. It is a magnet of a size that is sort of intermediate between the quantum mechanical world and the classical behavior. And if you make a crystal out of these molecular magnets, you have a huge number of identical tiny little magnets. And we are learning to handle these. These are quantum mechanical objects where the direction of this little magnet, it's in an environment in the crystal where it wants to line up either one way or the other, right? At high temperatures, it can just wiggle back and forth. At sufficiently low temperatures, the only way that it can reverse is by quantum mechanics. And that is the fundamental aspect of it that makes it potential for what we call a qubit, which would be a storage element in a quantum computer. There are mathematicians um, who have been working on what can be done with this sort of computer. Uh, and one of the things, for example, I mean, in quantum cryptography, a lot of it is done in terms of huge numbers which are composed of a certain, certain prime number. So if you get a humongous number that, ha that is the multiplication of certain primes, it takes a classical computer an enormous amount of time to, to decode this. A, in principle, a quantum computer can do it much, much faster. The work that I do on molecular magnets has potential applications there sort of maybe far into the future, but they have potential applications. But I do it and my students do it because we're trying to find out. Okay, we're trying to find out new physics.